Careful. Uh, today we're checking out the new, uh, it's not that new, but it's newer, the uh, Ernest Sports Launch Monitor, the ESB1. Let's go. Okay, I've done a ton of uh, launch monitor reviews on this channel, so I always love to see how these things perform so I can let you know whether or not you should drop the cash on these types of products. All right, so from Ernest Sports, uh, here we go. This is retailed, okay? The price on this thing, roughly 550 US dollars at the time of shooting this video. There will be a link for a $50 discount uh, in the description below. So for you guys and girls, um, $50 off. You're welcome. You got your deal. Okay, charge up right here. Plug it in. Eight hours of charge before you use it, they say. Kickstand, boom. Pretty simple. Power right here, it speaks to you. Got some volume here and some uh, controllers right there. Turn her on, boom. What is different? So this is a, an upgrade from the ES14 model, okay? That one, you put it on the side of the player this one goes behind the player, which in my opinion is the better way to go. I just, for one, I have more confidence in a launch monitor if it's behind the ball. Whether or not that's true or not, I don't know, but I just, I have more confidence. That part I know, because I just feel like it can see the ball. It just doesn't go whoosh right by it. So needed the uh, directions for, for all the uh, programming features. So you got uh, you can change your altitude, select yard or meter, program loft um, with bag display. So, so you can select the loft of your club. So you can tell it, hey, my pitching wedge is 46 degrees or 48, whatever uh, it is. If you want to do that, just to give it a little more accuracy, so you can keep your numbers better, you know, in terms of keeping your statistics. Okay, so you get you get it. You can kind of go through that and select everything. Okay, then what you do is you download your app from the App Store, the ESB1 app. And you open that puppy up and it will ask you to connect to the ESB1 um, monitor. And We've got the number. So here is what this is supposed to detect. We got club speed and ball speed, very important. Spin rate, like that. Smash factor, launch angle, and direction. It'll give me my distance on here too. I don't know why it doesn't say distance. It says smash factor. So on the indicator, we've got, it kind of flashes back and forth. You know, this is just kind of where it is right now. You see that all right? So it's giving me uh, these numbers and then it flashes back to some more numbers. So it's got about six different numbers, characteristics. So those are the, the data points it gives you along with your carry distance. Does it give me total distance or just carry distance? It just says carry. At least it just says carry on here. So what we're gonna do is we're going to put this to the test versus TrackMan, because that's accurate, we know that. And we're gonna see how accurate is this and is it worth the 500, $550 price tag. So, we're gonna hit some wedges, some irons, some drivers. I want accuracy if I'm paying the money, and I know you do too. So, let's see, let's see how she do. Let's go. All right, this thing only needs to be about four to five feet directly behind the ball. 
for it to uh, function correctly. Okay, we're gonna start with a pitching wedge. Once it's connected, it looks like this. And we're gonna select our club right there and we're going pitching wedge, pitching wedge. And okay, I've got a 46 degree wedge, send. That's way I can keep my stats, let's go. Distance, 117 yards. So that thing, it's cool, it talks to you. It gives you numbers. As soon as you hit, it yells out a number. It, it differs pretty dramatically with um, TrackMan. Sometimes I've noticed that these things have a difficult time with wedges. That's something that's, um, that I've noticed. So let's switch to, uh, let's go seven iron and let's see. I mean, I checked, it's set to carry distance. That's the carry number. It's a little off, okay. Uh, here's the deal, hold on. One of the things that could be going on, and this happens with a lot of uh, launch monitors, and it's just the way it goes. So, here's your club, it's traveling like this, right? And the face is closing. So, if it's picking up the toe, it's going to, the toe is gonna travel faster than let's say the heel because it doesn't have that rotation shutting down the face. So TrackMan does a really good job of picking the center of the club up, okay? That's what, it's, that's what you pay for. So this, it's very possible it's picking up the toe speed of the club. A lot of them do it, right? It's just, where is it pick, what's it picking up? Different clubs, it will pick up different points of the face, so my, guess right now is that it's picking up the toe and that's why it's a little faster uh, club head speed. Now the spin rate, that type of thing, it's, hmm. the net might have something to do with it, but it should get club head speed and ball speed and spin rate pretty accurately. Well, should pick it up right there. So now let's go to driver and see what our numbers are there. Okay, with the driver, it's not giving me carry. It's giving me total distance now with the driver. Not, not bad, not great, but not horrible. Okay, here's what I feel I owe you. Um, I feel I owe you the, uh, the opportunity to see this perform at a range, up against TrackMan, both at a range, and see what numbers we get there. This was in a net. Maybe, maybe it needs a little more distance to really get ac more accurate readings. Um, I don't know, because man, it shoots out a number, like you hit it and then it gives you a number, like, it's instantaneous, where even TrackMan has to think for a couple seconds before it gives you all the, the, the numbers. But what we're gonna do, now let's go, let's go to a range, outdoors, we'll hit some balls, we'll have them both out there, and we'll see if um, what it's saying is accurate. TrackMan this, everything, outdoors, let's go. Okay, we're at the range. Here's what we got, we have, Ernest Sports, it's gonna be set up four feet behind the ball, just like it's supposed to be. There's a green flag out there, 164 yards to the green flag. The blue is like 105, so in between is like 133, so we know the numbers. Got the laser, got the track man, got the Ernest Sports, we got the pitching wedge. Uh, 
and I'm just I'm setting everything just zero altitude for TrackMan. Checking altitude here is zero. Everything's zeroed out. Temperature. It's like 77 degrees. Okay, we're good. I even brought some other launch monitors just to uh, compare if we need to. Here we go. Like those numbers were really good. They're spot on. Like they weren't exact, but they were close enough to be like, it wouldn't matter, right? That was pretty good. Here's what I'm gonna do. Um, I'm gonna just mess around, hit a bunch of balls here. Set up the other ones so I can compare to Ernest Sports. And then we'll go back and I'll give you just all the information I gathered. Fair enough? All right, the uh, Ernest Sports ES B1 uh, portable, affordable launch monitor. So one, I like the fact that it's a larger unit. That just gives me a little more confidence that it's got a radar uh, and detection capabilities that are going to pick stuff up. It did a very good job outdoors versus indoors, or not indoors, but in a net. I felt like, man, the numbers were much more accurate outside and it did work in the net however I, I just didn't trust the numbers as much and they were very very different than with trackman when i compared it with the other units that i use and have done reviews on uh it stood its ground it was right on par with everything else it was getting good spin numbers it was getting good swing distance it was consistent in its numbers there wasn't like a swing speed that was vastly different one swing versus the next. Same with carry distance and total distance that it was giving me with the wedges, irons, uh, driver, and other clubs that I hit. So I did like that. Uh, as far as weight, it's got a good weight to it. It's not light. However, it, it does feel kind of like a toy. It feels a little cheap plasticky, to be honest with you. However, um, I do like the fact that it sits behind the player as opposed to off the side. That I like. Also, I like the fact that it didn't struggle with the different drivers that I hit, so it didn't have a problem picking up the, uh, the composite heads of the different types of drivers. Other ones have had an issue with that. Also, uh, you know, with these cheaper models, it's, we just don't know where, what part of the club head it's picking up. The toe is gonna move faster than the heel, whereas TrackMan, I mean, you're paying for them to pick up the center of that club face. So it does a, a pretty accurate job there. Uh, I like the numbers it gives you, kind of simplifies it. So you're just dealing with certain parameters. You're not getting too in the weeds with stuff you really don't need. I mean, I don't really look at spin rate. It's not important to me. It's just, uh, I'm looking at trajectory. I'm looking at maybe launch angle. Really with the portable ones, I want to know swing speed, carry distance, total distance. I don't care even about my smash factor. Like I know if I hit it good or if I hit it bad. So I don't really look at that number. Those are, I really only want those three things. So in terms of price, uh, this is retailing for $550 US. Uh, with a link in the description below, you get it for 500, you get about a $50 discount. Still to me, that seems a bit high. I would like to see this, a model like this, 
$3.99, I think that would be a good price. So to be $100 more than that, uh, it's a little, little tough. However, it is a good unit. I like that it has the display here and you can use the app and it keeps track of all your stats. So there's a lot of good features it does have. So it's not, it is something to consider looking at the other ones and it just depends what you're looking for. Good customer service here, good uh, company. They stick behind their brand. So I would say you're in good hands with something like this. So if you're gonna go to the range and use this, it's gonna be a lot more beneficial there than let's say indoors or in a net. So something to consider. Ernest Sports ESB1 launch monitor. Hope this helps. Love you guys. See you next video.